On Friday night, Bray were away to Drogheda United. Wanderers went into the game, having lost only five of their previous 16 away matches. Eamon Donoghue reports. A chance for Bray to keep Dundalk at arm's length in the race for sixth place. And they were into their stride inside the first 82 seconds of this contest. Gary Shaw's siding run forward. Wanders ahead and the first of the season for the young striker on his very first start. Straw had his win over Galway last week. Seemed like it had injected some life into their flagging season. And Tiernan Mulvena looked for a way through but was denied by Darren Quigley who unselfishly took one for the team. Painful though it seemed. It was the best that United could manage in a first half showing that angered manager Mick Cook and they were soon on the back foot. Stephen Trimble to thank after he was alert to deny Jake Kelly. But the green tide was set to come and United had failed to leave out the sandbags. On 32 minutes, a defensive calamity allowed Dan McGuinness in. Stephen Quigley's attempts to clear made the concession more comical, but we're sure Mick Cook wasn't laughing. A minute later, it was worse, and if the last goal was ridiculous, the third was sublime. Still, the draw had a defence appeared lethargic, but let's not take too much from the build up was eventually finished by John Mulroy. Time for a fourth with less than 10 minutes to the break. Gary Dempsey scoring, Bray's third in five minutes. And at the end where Dempsey scored for St. Pat's, a first following his return to the league in 2008. The announcement that a season ticket had been found at half time was perhaps forgivable given United's poor first half and Bray were out to make this one a rout. But Kelly couldn't connect with Shaw's cross. A win for Bray next week will guarantee that they finish above Dundalk, but they were anxious to keep the tempo up against the other County Loud side. Dan McGuinness narrowly missed a spectacular fifth. The latter stages of the match saw something of a rally from the home side. With their pride so badly hurt, with Mulvena's touch let him down, no cause for concern for Pat Devlin just yet. Gavin Brennan then tried to show he's equal to his older brother Killian from dead ball situations, but Quigley had his angles right as the ball stayed wide of wall and post. With 18 minutes remaining, United pulled one back. Phillips' hand delivery evaded everyone, including Quigley. No chance of a comeback, surely. Not that they didn't continue to press, however. Perhaps a showing like this from the start would have yielded a different outcome. Billy Cork ran off target. Not that it lightened Mick Cook's mood. 4-1 the final score, another flat performance from Drogheda. One that prompted Cook to apologise to home supporters. It was the most uh, abysmal 45 minutes I've seen in a long, long time from a team. And the players knew at half time I wasn't happy. And, but in fairness, the supporters said right to the bitter end. And I felt that they needed an apology, and that's why I went over to them. We just don't have the funds to sign everybody back, so I'm sort of saying that in the nicest possible way. But we do our utmost to make sure we retain as many of the squad as we can. But uh, we're very honest out in Bray. We're not going to tell lawyers. Uh, it was difficult last year. It's going to be more difficult this year. Um, the players like the club. It's a nice little club. We're very fair to everybody, and uh, we're trying to do our best to keep as many as we possibly can. But if anyone wants to go, they go. There's nothing we can do about it.